Hey, hey, Kimberly Olson here, back for another episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes. For today's episode, we're gonna talk about how to create on-demand webinars with StreamYard. So if you've ever, you wanted to do webinars, but you didn't know, did you need certain software or tools or what could, that could look like for your business, I'm really excited to share with you that I recently did a webinar and I couldn't believe the conversion on it, but the simplicity of using it on StreamYard blew my mind. So I'm gonna do a full tutorial for you in this episode. Stay tuned. Okay, so for this StreamYard webinar, I'm gonna do a tutorial for it to show you how to do it. I also wanna mention while I have you that I actually have an upcoming webinar. So if you wanna see this in real time, we'll include the link below. On January 17th, I'm actually hosting a webinar called How I Went From $250,000 in Revenue, it was my first full year in business, uh, to $1.1 million the next year. So obviously there were certain things I did to make such a huge jump. So I decided just to really think through the process of how that happened and lay it out for you in a workshop style uh, delivery. So there's actually a workbook that goes with it. And I do recommend that you do that before the actual webinar. Okay, so that's January 17th. Love for you to be a part of that. So StreamYard has different uh, levels. I think there might be a free version, but I would recommend going ahead and upgrading. It's not expensive. I've used a lot of different streaming platforms. The other cool thing is that I just saw on here that it will stream to Instagram now. It's as of now, it's the landscape shape, but it, they said that it's coming where it'll be story shape and then also Twitter. So that's kind of cool. You can stream to multiple places at once. I do have another video on how to use StreamYard, so you can check that out in our video suite of products for you. Okay. So what you're going to do is when you click create, you're going to click on air webinar host a webinar on StreamYard or embed it. So once you actually do a video, you can also schedule it to stream as a webinar. Um, but I just did the on-air webinar and I actually just scheduled it. So here's the one I have coming up. We haven't actually publicly released it yet, so you're the first to know about it. <laughs> By the time you go on here, it'll be public. But the, I went ahead and scheduled this one, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you're gonna go ahead and click Edit. Um, we had, so we just did one uh, a week, two weeks ago. We had 500 people registered for it. It looks like another 100 have come through since it was done. I just looked it up, so there was 598 registers. So 500 registered at the time of the webinar, and we had 150 on live. And why that's so powerful is I wasn't on Facebook. Usually I'm on Facebook or we're dual streaming all over the place. I thought that was really powerful to be able to be off of, of, of the social media platform. So I think that's just a really healthy way to run your business. And I just think the way it was so simple, they got automatic email reminders from StreamYard. It was just really easy to access the webinar. The replay is sent out afterwards. That having that turnout, that that's a really high conversion for turnout. So I was really happy with that. So just know, depending on how big your audience is, 250 might need to increase that. Okay. So you, there's on air settings, different things you can do. We're just going to click edit so you can see. So I did mine right within StreamYard. If you want to put your somewhere, so you're still doing a webinar and people register for it and get the reminders, but you can choose to stream it somewhere, sync it up to Facebook or wherever. So this is the, oh, this is the one coming up. Okay. So here's the one coming up. Um, and then you can upload a thumbnail if you want to, which I will do once I have a thumbnail. I don't have one yet. Actually, I think I do. So I'm gonna go fix that. I'm just making little notes for myself while I'm teaching you. <laughs> okay, thumbnail. You do want a thumbnail because that way um, people can see a little bit of like graphic work from you and it's branded that way because um, otherwise it's, it's got the stream art. Oh, the other thing is you can remove that little stream yard in there. Let me see if I can figure out where to do that. Okay. Oh, uh, where was it? Let's try editing. There's different places to go. Hold on one second. Okay. So when you click right here, you're going to click manage registrants. So this is more the settings that you'll see 
when you're wanting to just tweak some different things. Okay. So branding is the first thing you're going to go to. I obviously have it branded like this. So I'm going to go ahead and click this to have the gold digger logo change right there. And you can also just upload a thumbnail by doing that. And then you'll see on here, there's some different formats that you can that you're going to see. There's a registration is what it's going to look like when they register. You can zap this to your email list, which we've done. And then this is what the email looks like that they get and see how nice it is. It's added right to their calendar and then the watch. And this is what it looks like live when you're doing the live webinar. You can also just pre-record a webinar and use something like Upper Webinar um, if you want to have people register for an upcoming webinar after it's recorded. But this one creates an on-demand link so people can watch it afterwards or if they come to the link after the fact you're you're enabling them to watch it on demand so you could put this like you could do a webinar or you could record one and you could put it in your stand store link in your bio and just it can be on demand find out the five fastest ways to lose weight after your baby or whatever so this up here is embed and you can actually embed this um into, I think into like maybe a website or something. I'm not really sure. I just used the page button there. Uh, okay, watch page. So this is what it looks like when people are on and then live available on demand. You can toggle this off if you don't want it available on demand, but I recommend that. Um, only new registrations. Uh, you can change this. You can add a field such as a cell phone number if you want to capture that and then integration. So this is new. It's, you can use Zapier, like I said. And then you can view your registrants. And then what you can do is after the, the webinar is done, when you click registrants, I don't want to just because of people's email addresses will show, there's a button in the top corner that says export the list. So you can export it and then upload it to your email service if you want to after. You really don't need to sync it up to your email if you don't want to while you're doing it because the it's built in to remind people that it's coming up. And I signed up for my own. So always do that. Always sign up for your own your own workshops and stuff like that. Um, but that way I could see what was what, and it was great. Like it was super simple. Like I said, I think the reason why we had such a great turnout was because of that. So after it's done and you can see, I recorded, I uh, did an evergreen version of a live webinar. I just did when you're live, it's just different because you have people commenting and I always do different, I do different bonuses when it's live, but, um, I re-recorded it to make it generic. But if you come down here, here's the real one. So it was an hour and nine minutes. Um, but you can download the webinar. So after it's done, if you want to download it, you can share it. You can schedule it to live stream, which is cool. I don't know what you'd enter the studio. You can magic manage the registrant so you can see who registered and download that. There's on air settings and then you can delete it if you want to. So it's just going to be in your recorded section there, which is great. And, um, that way you, you have what you need there. Okay. So that's StreamYard. That's how you go ahead and do it. And it, it really is a very simple way to do webinars and webinars are short, you know, they're an hour. It's not like a five day challenge. It's just a simple way. Always have it, you know, have webinar slides and all of that and, and do it right. We do teach you how to do that inside of Ignited Life Coaching. If you're in any of our coaching programs, it's a little more advanced, but for those of you that are ready for it, I'd recommend giving it a go. And that's a wrap, Gold Digger. As you can see, creating webinars on demand with StreamYard really is that simple. So if you've got it all built up in your mind that you need this fancy landing, you know, landing page and software and a million different pieces, which some of those platforms are great, and, and maybe we'll do an advanced training down the road. But for now, just to get started, I would rather you just put something on the books, schedule this thing, go through it, even if you have one live viewer, maybe no live viewers. Now you have a piece of content, something really valuable that you can reuse, repurpose. And every time you do this, you're going to get better and better. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. And as I said, we have an upcoming workshop. How I went from 250000 to $1.1 million in one year. So make sure you register for that to, to see the whole thing in action, but also to learn a ton. And if this was helpful, take a screenshot, throw it in your stories and tag me at the Gold Digger Girl. I'd love to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, get lit in your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon.